In this video, I want to take a look at the part B of the U values question, and it's one that comes up regular enough is how to achieve a new U value. So here's the question part A, as you can see, is calculate the U value, and uh, you have to go about that before you can do the part B. In part B, I'm just highlighting here that we're given a bit of information here. We're given the conductivity of expanded polystyrene, which is meant to be used to achieve this new U-value, and we are given the new U-value of 0 0.27. So those two pieces of information I'm going to require to solve this. So again, just part A, as usual, calculate the U-value, and then the new U-value target that we have to get, we need to calculate the amount of extra insulation required. And you can see I've just transferred the information that I've been given in this part of the question. Now, one of the important things in this here is that you must work with resistances. You cannot work with the U-value, so you must convert, always convert the U-value to a resistance. That's the step number one. So we have the two U-values. So we can, what we can do is we can convert. We know what we want to get. We want to convert our U-value, the one that we're given to achieve. We want to convert that into a resistance. And the required U-value that is given us in the question is 0 0.27. And to convert that to a resistance, all we do is divide 1 by 0 0.27. I'm just going to demonstrate it here. You may have a reciprocal function on your calculator, which will work fine. So I'm just going to take 1 and divide it by 0.27. And that gives us 3.703. And the existing resistance we have from our U-value table, we don't actually have to work with the U-value. We have that resistance from our table, and it's 0 0.63959. And if I want to get the U-value, convert that back, convert that to a U-value. As you can see here, I have the U-value up here, 1.5635. Divide 1 by that, and that gets me my resistance. So I'm not going to bother writing that back in again, because I already have it written on the, sh the sheet up here. So therefore, the resistance of the EPS, EPS that we require, all we've got to do is subtract one the one resistance from the other. As simple as that. So we're going to take 0 0.63959, and we're going to take that away from 3.703. So the required or and the existing R. We subtract these. And what we're left with here is a figure of 3.063, and that is the R that we required for the EPS. Now, it's only the one element that's going into this to achieve it, so we can go about setting it out in a kind of table format just for clarity here. So we've got the component, which is EPS, We'll have the conductivity, which we're given in the first part of the question, which I've written down here. You can see at the top of the sheet there, conductivity of expanded polystyrene, which is given in the part B of the question. And we have the resistivity, which um, is our 1 over K, and we have our thickness, which we don't know. And we have our resistance. Now, sometimes uh, the reason why I have the... Um, resistivity and is because that can also be used. There's two two methods in this here. So we've got the resistance, thickness, resistivity, conductivity as you would normally have for your table and your component. And the component we have here is EPS. In the question we're given the conductivity. But if we want to use the resistivity all we've got to do is divide 1 by 0 0.037 and that gives us 27.027. The thickness we don't know, and the resistance we have worked out from subtracting the two R's, which is 3.063. So what we can do here is we can go by having the resistance is equal to the thickness over the conductivity, or we can go with the thickness is equals the resistance multiplied by conductivity. So if the thickness is the resistance which we have, we know the conductivity is 0 0.037. And we multiply these out 
it will give us our thickness, which the unit of measurement is in meters. So that's 0 0.113 meters. So that means that it's 113 millimeters of insulation. And the only reason I put in the uh, the conductivity or the resistivity is that the alternative method of doing this here would be where we've converted our conductivity into a resistivity and we know that the resistance is the thickness multiplied by the resistivity the small r or 1 over k whichever you want to use so that means that the thickness would actually be equals to the resistance divided by the resistivity. That means 3.063 is divided by 27.027 and that gives us our thickness of 0 0.113 meters and converted into millimeters is 113 millimeters. So these are just the two methods that we have. And that's pretty much the same every time it comes up. You'll be given a component that you figure out how much insulation is required. And you have to use the information given in Part B along with your U-value calculated from Part A. And that's how you achieve a new U-value.